Okay, so we're going to have a quick look at the Garmin Connect IQ store, which is it's an app store, for want of a better word, for the Garmin products. Uh, if you go onto the Garmin Connect homepage, we have this pretty girl, and then we have featured apps. We have... Um, the devices here which are compatible with the IQ store uh, the one I've got of course being the Phoenix 3 HR uh, the most popular apps and new and updated apps now to get one of the apps from Connect IQ onto your device you need this thing here which is Garmin Express which is the software that will connect your Garmin products or it will connect my Phoenix to the Connect IQ store so we'll plug the Phoenix in We'll launch Connect IQ, and there we can see the Phoenix has come up as a device. So we click on Phoenix, it's telling me I've got something to install, it's syncing, so we'll leave that to do that. And then what you're looking for here is this, which is Connect IQ apps. So we click manage apps and it gives us a list of the apps which we currently have installed on the device so what you can also do with these is not though you can't sorry you can rearrange applications so obviously you know whatever sports you're going to do most uh, whether it be run walk pool swim bike then the three four most popular but what we can do is select one and <coughs> we can drag them about so you can arrange your applications about as you see fit or as you choose we'll cancel that you can rearrange the widgets which it shows so you can rearrange heart rate steps so if you wanted to put your intensity minutes up there you just put it up there and then when it syncs with your Garmin device it will show them as they set up there but I'm going to cancel that and then we go into get more apps and this is when it launches the Garmin Connect store. It knows what device is plugged in, so there we are, the Phoenix 3 HR apps. So if you wanted to install the gym timer, you would just pick it. And up at the top here, it tells you compatible devices. And the Phoenix 3 is the Phoenix 3 HR, the Vivo Active, and the Vivo Active HR, HR is um, not listed on there yet. Can't see it. Nope, it's not there yet. Unless that, I would imagine it will be, it will sync with that. Okay, so we get uh, the description, the basic features. Um, yep, that's all that it does. And then we get some reviews, which are in what looks to be Spanish. Correct me if I'm wrong. And then if you wanted to download that, you just click on the download button, which I'm not going to do because I don't want it. 
but yeah, that's that's basically the, that's basically that dead easy, dead straightforward to use. Go back into that. Go back to your devices. It's telling us. Uh, I have item grid to install. Basically, what wh whatever you've done or whatever you have <coughs> put on it or whatever you've changed, it's going to want to sync once it's finished doing whatever it's doing. So that's it, basically. That is Garmin Connect IQ. Okay, so when you've done all that and you've disconnected your watch from your computer anything you've done to it any changes you've made will obviously show up in your widgets and your applications anything you've installed you will obviously see there's a sunrise sunset one i put on uh, yesterday uh, the clock face uh, you can see that is off the connect iq store also Now I've done this bit a bit wrong because I was actually looking for clock settings in the main menu and it's not there, it's in settings and then we go to watch face and you'd select connect IQ and the one you want to put on. That's it, easy.